All right, you guys, thank you to everyone for your support to us here for this channel. For those of you who wish to support this channel, go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you for your conti continued support to us here. All right, for those of you who have tickets, citations, mortgages, foreclosures, child support cases, or those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in for non-violent offenses, non-violent offenses, those of you in the churches doing business as jails, you can email us for the GSA bond templates to set off, set off, set off the matters. Um, then you could also get the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claim that you owed on the so-called mortgages, child support cases, foreclosures, ticket citations, utilities, auto loans. Um, I'm not sure how utilities would work, but auto loans, student loans, and um, warrants, or I'm not sure if you can do it for warrants, but you can do it for auto loans, student loans, um, and I would think um, mortgages, foreclosures for the 1099 OID. You could also email us for the Do Not Detain Affidavit, the Fraudulent Conveyance of Language Laws, and Donald Trump's, um, some of Donald Trump's executive orders, and the insurrection act on the 14th amendment as to where we are now and the list of the places that were subject to the so-called um, DARPA all right so you can email us for all of that we do ask for donations for our time at the mullings at gmail.com we do ask you guys to give these videos a thumbs up put a comment in the comment section and we're asking for a dollar if you guys have more you want to donate more per video we're going to put we have a new channel, as you guys know, because we were subject to some stuff on YouTube. Um, Noble L the second. So we've put um, the old, um, we've been a playlist of the old videos, the old channel on uh, the new channel. So within a week, um, we have a few more days. We'll go back to the old channel. Um, God willing, God spare life, and we'll just follow it by there, right? My wish is to have my own platform somewhere where I could just post and have others post without having to worry. Um, yeah, free speech, right? And really honorable stuff like politics and um, yeah, the stuff, finances and stuff going on in their territories as well too. Anyways, you guys know I like to start with the scripture here. Psalms 121, I will lift up mine eyes while I start with a prayer first. Heavenly Father God, I pray, thank you for this day. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the powers that be yesterday. Horatio, huge thank you to you. My heart goes out to you guys. Send some love for Horatio. Oh, and to all the people around the globe losing their loved ones. You've got my heart today, hon. All right, now, um, I send a head of hedge of protection around Horatio and his family, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, and all that is good globally. I put a hedge of protection around them. Give me the voice to speak clearly today. Let this be uplifting, edifying to the soul. Bring to memory, quicken my spirit as to all the things you want me to talk about today. Because there was so much stuff. Peter, thank you for all the links that you shared with us. I'm trying to find them to go through them. Um, there was one in particular I wanted to talk about. I can't locate that right now. So hopefully as I'm doing this, it'll come up, right? So I want to just say thank you to everyone um, for all your support to us yesterday for, oh Lord, we had one of those things yesterday that you just like, thank you God for all the energies that you sent to manifest what you did and we were able to, um, yeah, get everything straightened out. So thank you to the powers that we, that we had to write to instantly. Horatio, thank you for your prayers and um, yeah. So it took us a minute, but yeah, we just want to say thank you to all the people and the angels that showed up here to assist us. All right, now I'd like to start with the scripture, Psalms 121, traveling, traversing on this highway known as what? Second Amendment, free speech. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep the lord is thy keeper the lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the lord shall preserve thy going on thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore 
thank you to each and every one of you. I was just saying to myself before I started this video, Jackie Cofty, a huge thank you to you yesterday. You know, very rarely you come across, or no, not rarely, sometimes you come across some really honorable people. And Jackie Cofty, Horatio Bay, Copper Aborigines, Trusty Rockmore, I Tree Roots, and a whole host of you. Really honorable, Michael L. And yeah, Hawaiian Bucks, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that support that you give to us. We just want to say thank you. Now, here are some stuff that came to us. You guys remember Attention Office of Interpol, the International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the Military, the Marines, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Louis DeJoy doing business as Postmaster General, um, Jay Clayton doing business as Securities and Exchange Head, Joseph Odding doing business as the um, Office of Comptroller of Currency, the International Criminal World Court, and the Universal Postal Union heads and the heads at the Antitrust Department at the United States Federal Trade Commission. I come to you in good faith. In one's proper person, I stand my ground. As a living flesh and blood sentient being, Surrey Juris Surrey Heiress, heir to the world's vast estate, American Indian, a loyal title Moorish American National, Reubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian. Now, I command and order you now to go quickly. Send some people today to rectify the situation I'm showing you right now. This is the bus park, you guys. So for over a month, okay, these agents here have torn up the entranceway to the bus park, eh? Claiming they're fixing the drain. Now there's two drains here. One against this wall up here that looks like crap that's not draining anything. This drain here, right? This part over here is ancient. This part's supposed to be new. So what's happening here? The corrupted agents doing business as what? Bushy Stewart's supposed to own this piece of land. Go and find out if he leased it to, to if he leased it to some entities known as the municipality for Westmoreland. If he did lease it to them, then they're responsible. Is that in the lease that they're responsible for the land? Right, Bushy Stewart? All right. If that's true, go and find out who in the municipality of Westmoreland is responsible for road repair. When you find them, fire them instantly, eh? If for whatever reason you tell them to fix it up immediately this morning and they pretend like they forgot, because what the people are reporting to us, what's going on here, is that they're getting the funds a couple times over, whether it's federal funding or what have you, and they're dividing it amongst themselves, people, and then giving the people little or nothing to actually fix the, the, the thing. Now, here's the interesting thing. This particular territory is like 10, 20, maybe 20 minutes from Negro. When you get to Negril, I'm going to show you some pictures of Negril in a second. Beautiful. Do you think they can put this kind of garbage up in Negril, in the tourist area? I'll wait. They couldn't dare. You know why? First of all, the tourists up there would see this and would, I mean, they would freak out. That being said, tourists come down to Savlamar too for groceries and stuff, eh? So, and a lot of the tourists also take some of the ones that are domiciled here. They also take the same public transit, so they're subjected to this stuff too. But the local people, you guys, are subjected to this constant mind. I want to say a word. I'm going to say keep it, you know. Yeah, it's mind whatever. <laughs> Psychological warfare, you guys. That's all this is, you know. You would never see stuff like this in Canaanite Line, Canada. Not even for five minutes. First of all, this whole thing would be barred off. In other words, you see this ditch right here? If somebody's walking here and for whatever reason or doesn't remember that this is here and they fall into this, problems, eh? This goes down pretty deep, right? This big old hole here. This could be done in one freaking day. One night, they could do all this stuff. It doesn't take, it's not rocket science. I don't know exactly how they would go about doing this, but they'd probably put the boards in here, put the stuff across it, the, the thing here, move these stones out of the way immediately, right? And fix it, right? Now, what we did here, we had dug up some stuff, so we took this stuff here, 
and use it to fix the roads. They could use this stuff here to fix the roads up there because the roads look decrepit as well too, eh? You see what I'm saying? One day. So go and string their asses up this night. Have this stuff put back in order, right? So the people can live in peace, love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, and equality. Go and deal with that now. In addition to that, there was um, a young girl's um, video you sent to me yesterday. This young girl, dear God in heaven, Becky story. I'm going to put the link to her story, you guys, in the description below. Pray for her, okay? Let me just give you the synopsis of what happened to her. From this little girl was four years old. Her parents had sold her into, I guess they were part of a cult or something, and it sold her into some kind of a sex trade something. Long story short, they were molesting her and doing all kinds of crap to her, R-A-P-E to her, from she was a baby, okay? She said she was scared to go outside because this white van used to come by and pick her up. Now, you know what's so funny? Then it's not funny, but what's weird? When she talked about this white van, I had a dream many, 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 many years ago. I, I want to say when I was a teenager, and I had this dream about this white van, and I was so scared about this white van. And I think it must have been um, sort of like, you know, one of those dreams when you can project or you're seeing the future of what um, is going to come out in life, eh? So she, when you listen to this girl's story, long story short, she finally, she was at school one day, she told one of the teachers that she was also being beaten and abused, eh? The teacher's contact, she was in England. Go and round up all those agents in England. All those agents doing business, police. The, the teacher contact and the child protective services go round them up to this night. When you guys listen to this girl's story, you're not going to believe it. Oh my God. The teacher contacted child protective services. They, um, I want to say they put her in an orphanage or something at that point. That wasn't good. But not only did they, they put her in the orphanage, fine, but then... They had her still having visitation rights with the mother. Who was doing the, who was the abuser? Can you imagine how torturing that is? Then, for some strange reason, years um, passed. The, 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 um, there was an ad, I think, on Twitter or one of the social medias. Long story short, she connected with someone in the United States. Um, they sent for her or somehow she was able to come over to America. Eh? Listen to the treachery that now begins her story. She arrives in the United States. She tells them she's detained. She's got, they've got her in there for how many hours up, up on hours up on hours, okay? They put her in detention, you guys. Oh my God, she's arrested for, I want to say, over a year or, or more. Finally, they didn't believe none of her story. They, they finally set her free on some kind of a $40,000 bond with an ankle bracelet. I think she now said she's wearing a, 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 a wrist bracelet. Like, I mean, it wouldn't have taken that much for them to know that this, this story was true, eh? Go and round up all the agents involved in the story, Donald Trump, and set this girl free here, right? So she's making an affidavit to um, Donald Trump to set her free so she can stay in America, basically, because anyhow she gets deported back to England, She's worried that they're going to take her out. I mean, I just summed up her story in five minutes, but you have to listen to all the stuff she was subjected to. So she even started her own channel, and she's doing, you know, she has aspirations to do some good. So just follow her, and um, yeah, you guys, send her some love, man. Oh my God, her story was so gut-wrenching. I couldn't even believe it, you know? Now, um, they sent me this... Oh boy, you guys, you know, Lori Lightfoot and his wife, Amy, or husband, Amy, isn't this two men? Okay, they sent me, I did a video recently on what Lori Lightfoot looked like originally. So this must be a clone, right? And this is a man, they're both transvestites, right? I'm so confused looking at these people. Go and r round them up for treason and genocide and stuff and all the harm that they've created on the people in Chicago. Look at all the people that died over these entities, right? That were killed. Go and round them up this night. Use the Insurrection Act, right? I hope they're removed by now. God in heaven, look at this, man. I don't have words, you guys. 
I have no words. And then this other one that they sent to me yesterday. What the heck? They showed me what this one looked like when I think this is a man trying to be a woman. But they showed me a picture just a minute ago what it what she looked like. And I'm like, really? What's going on? Okay, this must have been her at some point, right? Look at the difference, right? Okay, here she is here. I think this is her as a woman, right? In her normal state. And then what happens over here? Only God in heaven knows. You guys, it's not right. Anyways, I was looking at this. Um, this is so funny. I'm going to put this God's warriors in this <laughs> description below. So you guys can see this. It's so funny though. This is Biden. I think um, Donald Trump is saying that... Um, Dr. Mumbai, yes, this is what I wanted to talk about. Dr. Mumbai was showing um, what uh, Donald Trump was saying, that Biden's not coherent enough to run for president because he might be on some medication, you guys. So, um, hang on, let me see if I can play this a little bit. Hang on. This is what they look like before, this is what they look like after. Look at their pants. Look at where they are now. You see that? It's decrepit, right? Like, really? This is what our people look like back in the day, eh? Now, you guys know I have um, some young lads, right? Would you believe this is how they used to dress whenever we're on the road and stuff? From they were little. I don't know how I just decided that I wanted them to look decent. No matter where we went, they always had on their suits. The only reason why they don't have on their suits today is because we're in a warmer climate, eh? But you know by tomorrow morning they're going to get some suits again. Because you have to be the change you want to see, eh? This is what we used to look like, eh? This is what I grew up seeing. When I was growing up here back in the 60s, right? All of our people had on tailor-made clothes because they didn't have access to stores. We didn't. I don't even remember having a store that we went to to do shopping like that. Look at that, you guys. All right, and then look, flash forward to now, the decrepitness of what you're seeing with these boys in these areas that doesn't make any sense because they don't have a clue where all this decrepit stuff came from. Look where their pants is, people. Go and tell them to round it up this night. Remember that more, I forget her name, may God rest her soul, made a video and was saying that her brothers were wearing their pants like this. And one day he went to tie up his shoes and he couldn't move his back. And she had to explain to him, um, or he had found out, I guess, that not only was it expect, uh, affecting his sperm, but it was affecting his knees. Pull up your pants, people, and stop with all these gang signs sitting and these masks, right? You see the clothes they give him to wear? Who designed these clothes and who sent them out to the ghetto areas? When you're in New York City, you're in Queens and Brooklyn, this is what you're seeing, you know. Because I remember traveling to the Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens New York and seeing this decrepitness and I'm like what the hell Whew. help our brothers God Donald Trump just ban these pants wearing down to the knee crease and these masks ban it right so these boys can live and they can have a life now um, yes I don't even know this is look at the teeth here that's not real that's not human I don't know what that is and look what it's saying. Like, you've got to be kidding me, right? Police, um, Portland City Commissioner demands mayor to give her the control of police so cops don't stop the riots. Really? Are you mad? <laughs> Go and remove them, Donald Trump, and international authorities. That's just craziness. Now listen to this one. Breaking news. Indiana governor says all people over the age of eight 
will be under a face mask mandate. Beginning Monday, violation will be a Class B misdemeanor for an eight-year-old. Are you mad? Go and round up that Indiana governor this night. Like, it's just ridiculous, right? And then Australia has a bunch of stuff going on over there, too. Something about a Victoria law, where they're not arresting people, arresting people for not wearing a mask. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, it's now come out that Donald Trump is charging Joe Biden and uh, uh, Barack Obama for treason publicly. Um, yeah, so they'll be prosecuted. We already know they were executed, right? For the said treason, because he took so much bribes and did so much crap. TikTok bans Quanon hashtags following Twitter's removal of Quanon accounts. Put that back. Um, yeah, because they're the ones telling the truth. Now, somebody, <laughs> this was funny too, this guy has this mesh over his face. Oh, you have to laugh, people, in the midst of all this confusion, eh? Now, 800,000 children are missing a year. 100,000, 138,000 patent deaths. Where are all the children? What's the real virus, you guys? Is it the children's being um, missing and being subjected to all that so-called sex crimes by these agents? Um, there's something else I wanted to show you here. My husband just called me. He left for work. Um, hang on. This is funny. My husband just called me. He left for work. Got gas in town. Went into the store. Opened the door for a nurse going in. He said to her, no mask? Hmm? I guess she wasn't wearing a mask. She rolled her eyes and said, not after we just... This was a nurse. Not after we just sent in 70 unopened unopened test test kits you guys and they came back positive what the hell is going on so she's not wearing a mask because of that i thought that was kind of funny though <laughs> right oh my god slavery was illegal but people who freed the slaves were criminals holocaust was illegal but people who hid the jews were criminals segregation was illegal was legal sorry slavery was legal Holocaust was legal. Segregation was legal. The people who freed the slaves were criminals. The people who hid the Jews were criminals. Um, the people who stood up for equality were criminals. Legality is a matter of... What does that say? Um, power, government, and I guess control, right? Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, they're saying that there's this sign, this little, um, I want to say the name of it. Hang on. Here it is. Why does a patent testing facility have a logo of Anubis, the god of death? You guys see that? This is the god of death here. Don't take any tests, you guys. Now, um, <laughs> I thought that was funny. <sighs> Pentagon on UFOs, they are off world vehicles not made on earth the U new york time re times reports classified pentagon hearings on crash recovered ufos off world vehicles not made on earth so i thought that was interesting so i'll put that one in the description below um there was another one they sent to me oh this is one of our old ones um yeah you guys remember to you can still watch the old um, channel to Noble L and remember to go to the new channel Noble L. This one's going to be posted on Noble L the second. There was a lot of really good comments that you guys made. Um, bark is a remedy for colds and flu. Thank you for that, Olga. Um, Dr. Sebi has lots of remedies. Yes, to eliminate disease. Yes, he did. Dr. Sebi. Placebo is what they sold uh, to us in the pharmacy. They tell us that um, all the time that placebo is what they give the people. Um, it helps heal their own bodies, but it's all in the power of the mind. Loved it. Uh, this is from plantains are a grass. It also called colt, colt's foot. This was in the book, the herbology book. And I was reading about this wife that had given her husband um, drinking hot springs water and bathing 
in it is a great healer. Oh my God, you're so right, Olga. Um, they have some waters all over the world, you guys. That is absolutely incredible. Go to the waters. Um, yes, I really like that. That was a video I created called Top Department of Justice Affil Officials Flee. Why Herbology Book. It's got 722 views from J June 17, 2020. Um, then you got In Reality, Not After. <laughs> okay, this was the video I created. New channel, Noble L the second, AKA Noble L. <laughs> um, in reality, yeah, they're not after Donald Trump. They're after the people. Um, blessings to you, my sister. I read this one yesterday. Thanks for the new links. Um, Ashe, peace and love. Red wine. I'm going to put these in the description below. There was something else that was just sent to us. Um, Fed Zero of the account, the RV United Nations. I haven't watched this yet. We just received this one. I'm going to put this in the link to, below. You guys go to this channel here. I want to say um, 22x. Hang on. Oh, this is a meme of the day. So funny. Record high Trump. Um, yeah. There's just tons of um, things going on now. You have celebrities that are coming out and saying that they're voting for Trump and really just being, um, they don't even care anymore. People are just so fed up with what's going on that everybody's talking about. Oh, yeah. This woman was arrested for sending out the rice scene to the White House. Guess where they captured her, you guys? Right at the border. You remember I was telling you? Right at the border between New York and Canada, right? Buffalo. So you're going on the I-90. You know that you have the, the bridge, the um, what I want to call it, the Peace Bridge. I, I don't think that's the name of it. But yeah, that bridge right there uh, between Canada and Buffalo, that's where they, they, um, that's where they caught her, right? I was looking for a picture plastered all over the place I, you know normally if it's a so-called black man they'd have the pictures plastered all over the place right so i'm looking to see what she looks like go to this x22 report i'm not going to go into it just go to that and then um yeah here was kim classic takes on the view where they just berated her man and she stood her ground this woman oh dear god i don't know who is in power because she was saying somebody who won he's over there doing nothing remove him from office and put her in to control the whole baltimore washington area she is good man she was so composed i would have started cussing off what's her name joy Bayhart and all of them talking so much smack to her she was so good then they sent me this one yesterday um experience the golden eagle trans siberian express it was so beautiful um and you know i was on this train on youtube right <laughs> they were showing all these places along the roadway right and i was saying oh that's so pretty and these buildings in siberia and they had this beach and the beach was covered with these glass stones like it's bottles they used to have a, this used to be like a dumping ground they said for glass bottles right and what happens is the glass at the beach will turn into these beautiful um like crystals almost which i thought was pretty but i was wondering when they were showing all these pictures you know what i'm thinking about what's hidden underground like what's buried under there was there any dumbs under here i think so but yeah this was really pretty i'm going to put the link to these um, video in the description below so you guys can go and um, I like to see places around the world but I don't necessarily like to travel all the time so um, for me it's really nice to see so thank you YouTube and the powers that be for sharing this with us and there was another one they shared with us that had these beautiful um, pictures of the stuff that was just really really pretty anyways international authorities go now by the grace of God implement all stated here protect that young girl becky make sure she can stay here once you have her sorted out round up those agents involved in her hurt that just made it worse man god um and find her parents and charge them for it. her father was molesting her you guys from she was a baby oh dear god terrible stuff so yeah set her free 
and then yeah pass a, a, a ban law on the young boys wearing their pants down to their knee creases because um, you know what's interesting the only boys that I see being able to do this or or doing it period happen to be the so-called Moors labeled as blacks who have no clue about science and their physical bodies that God gave them right because it takes a nation to rise up a nation to be a nation and in order to have a nation you have to have what children right Oh boy, this war on boys, you guys, has to, has to stop, has to stop, has to stop. All right, so um, you guys have boys, go get them some suits. <laughs> so they look crisp again. And um, yeah, like my, yeah, you know, and when you raise up your boys a particular way, there's stuff, they, they won't even look in the direction of garbage, eh? Because once you raise them from their babies with a mindset, they won't even, the other day my son was upset because he wanted to get his suit again because I was explaining to him that, you know, the suit that he had, it was too small and I had to get another one and it was really hot and I was thinking, oh man, and he's saying, I really want another suit and I was like, all right, we got to work on that. But yeah, just put a ban on that, that, I mean, really, you're having them wear masks and they won't be able to appropriate? No. Take, ban the masks and ban those pants going down because you guys know I talked about it here that was what they did in the prisons right they that goes back to the whole thing in the prisons with this you know the pants whatever what they were doing to them there so yeah remove that and then all the other stuff round up those commissioners and the heads for so-called Chicago and all those en entities that killed off all those people out there and compensate them whatever profits they made on those insurances from those people take those insurances and send it back to the people who were the people's families and loved ones who were subjected to those um, <clears throat> war crimes against humanity sedition use the insurrection act this night thank you for everything you did for us here and you do for us all day every day somebody asked me yesterday if Donald Trump was a good guy or a bad guy and I said you know here's the thing I can't even list the amount of things that I've written to Donald Trump about privately that I've seen manifest instantly. I don't have enough words to thank him, you guys. For the amount of videos they sent me one, Horatio sent me one yesterday, I had made a public affidavit for some stuff going on here. And by the grace of God, he went and rounded up those agents for us. Eh? A huge thank you to you, Donald Trump. I just pray a hedge of protection. <clears throat> my voice is going over all of you. Stop messing with my voice, you guys. Let me just say what I need to say. So I'm just saying that I had to tell her. I said, you know, you have no idea. 99.9% .9 of the stuff this man has done that the media has kept secret. <clears throat> Let me speak, man, because, you know, it's not being said enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Donald Trump, because, you know, I couldn't send her the list of how many things that you have done for us because it's so amazing and stuff, not just Donald Trump, but the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, all the entities that we write to here, the good Federal Bureau Investigations head, the good Interpol agents heads, the good Fraud Department heads, Jay Clayton doing business as Securities and Exchange Commissioner. I don't even know if he reads our stuff, but I'm just saying. Office of the Control of Currency, Joseph Otting. I don't even know. All I'm saying, I see things manifest here all day, every day. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Peter, Horatio, Hawaiian Bucks, Kiki Smith, all of you sharing, Jackie Kofti that writes to me often, for sharing your journeys, your plights, your successes, and all the stuff that we shared with you since you guys have come with us to come to us here and we've seen prodigal son everybody start to now uplift themselves and you know it's just a joy for me to see it so a huge thank you to the powers that be so um put this affidavit in existence now by noble honorable Ange l enity alfred l thank you for sending us the more yesterday a huge Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Oh, God, it was the first more that we met here, you guys. <laughs> he was a bay. He saw the flag, and he just lost his mind. I mean, he was just so overjoyed. 
and began talking about he met Taj Tariq Bey, he knows Asir the Duke of Tears, he knows he has tons of books on them. I mean, it was, oh, made my day yesterday. So thank you to the powers that be for that. And was asking us about the temple, and we said, you're looking at it. And he said, oh, yeah, I get it. So thank you to Lazarus and all the people that came to help build this temple. Anyways, I'm on this dumb cell here. And you guys know that during this entire time, we have somehow, by the grace of God, managed to provide work for these guys to be able to get. You know, one of the workers was saying he was so grateful. Um, we were giving them some notes and stuff because he was exp explaining that his son had um, some children and they came and they had set a price for whatever it was they were doing right and I was so overjoyed with the son and how he, gracious he was to us and the work that he did for us that we gave him a significant amount extra and he was just oh my god gratitude you guys so a huge thank you to each and every one of you for supporting us here um, let me just finish saying this before I start speaking my indigenous tongue. By Noble Honorable Ange Elinidi Alfred El Rubenai, Tribe Chief American Indian, a Lodial Title Moorish American National, UCC 1 308, without recourse, all rights reserved. You guys do good for those of, those of you. Those that are supporting you, do good for them, okay? Remember, give these videos a thumbs up, like, 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 share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Remember to support us. Um, go to PayPal at themullingsatgmail.com. One dollar is great if you can do more. We really, really, really appreciate it because we get to do more for our people here that come to us with different things and stuff along the roadway. And um, people are so grateful. You have no idea. So we just want to say a huge thank you as we continue to fix up the roadway here with some of the stuff that, by the grace of God, um, yeah, there was some stuff that we were subjected to with the flooding and that. So we've already patched up the road and we'll show you pictures of that. And when we're finished doing the rest of it, we're going to post it like we did the other ones. And just continue, you know, a journey of a thousand miles, you guys, begins with one step. God made us go through what he did for whatever reason, right? I said to my offsprings yesterday, I said, you know, every time we're subjected to something, there's a blessing in it. There's an opportunity in all of it, you guys. If you know how to look at it, if you know how to treat it, if you know how to write about it, if you know how to think about it. Think and grow rich, right? Think and grow rich. Think, you guys. Put your head in the game. Because all the stuff that's, that's going on right now, it's a chess game. And if you know Donald Trump and the sign that he is, and those of you who have people in your tribes and know that sign, well, when I say well, if you know that sign well, and you know it's a chess game, and you know that pride goes before the fall, they set them up, they let them do their stuff for a minute, and then you see it just tumbling down. Okay? And that's what's going down. So they've given YouTube and social media a long rope. A long rope to do what? I'll wait. They give them a long rope, you guys. So when the guys were explaining to us all the undue hardship that they were subjected to by the very same social media too that gave us a strike, who was out here reading the Bible, praying to God, praying for our people to be free, subjecting us to undue hardship in our little, um, which is religious discrimination, discrimination against us disabled, discrimination against us as a tribe so all of that discrimination again against us as a nationality as Moorish American National Rubenite Tribe Chief American Indians as the original people on the planet you wait you guys when you hear about what's about to go down trust me you're gonna feel sorry for them do you know what I'm saying to you how many times have I come on this channel and said some stuff only to see some stuff go down that's like blows my mind all right, toko ita kana na ita kana no chiki e e e e na kakai no no kota kai na no kota koi na ita ka no 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 koko koi na hai ita kana no chiki ita kana na ita ka. You were warned, right? Toko no toko no ra tiki la ita kana na. You were warned. Toko no ita ka. You can't say we didn't warn you. Da koko ina ha ita kana no chiki ita kana na. If it were me, 
I would put people's stuff back up in seconds globally. That's what I would do, you know. If it were me, when you guys remember that the punishment for treason is what? Do you guys remember what the punishment for treason is? All right. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day, okay? Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Remember to support us here. Remember to stay in honor with us here as angel gods. We're angels having a human experience. And yes, we do accept donations. Those donations we use for our livelihood and for those tribes around us too. So we want to thank each and every one of you for your support to us here. Those of you who wish to support us, go to PayPal at themullings at gmail.com. Here it is right here. I'm going to put it up on the screen for a second. T-H-E-M-U-L-L-I-N-G-S at gmail.com. And thank you, thank you, thank you. As yes, we are being targeted here. We require an advocate. advocate. We require guidance. Thank you to the powers that be.